Bangs ISD 2011 valedictorian goes to Abby Hall. $269,268,800. That's how many seconds that the average American has in a lifetime. I heard a quote that says, a day is a span of life no one is wealthy enough to waste. Time is something that is so easy to take for granted. It is so easy to waste. But the thing is, you never ever get it back. You never know how much of it you have left. However, there is one thing that you can always control. You can always choose what to do with each second that you are given. We look around us every day and see all kinds of people. People who choose to love those around them and people who choose to love no one. People who choose to do something with their life that means something and people who just don't care. People who choose to believe in God and try to live by His standards and people who answer to no one but themselves. Life's what you make it, and no one can choose what will become of it except for you. So why not make it good? In these next years of our life, why not give it all we've got and make them mean something? Dream as if we are going to live forever, but live as if we are going to die forever tomorrow. Instead of worrying about what we can't do or don't have, why not focus on what we do, can do and the things that we do have? Honestly, I believe we are all a lot more blessed than we realize sometimes. We have been given so much. So instead of feeling sorry for ourselves, making excuses, or giving up when hard times come, why not push ourselves to be more than we've ever been and do more than we've ever done? Remember that pressure is what makes diamonds, and I believe that we are all meant to shine. So why not break the mold, step out, and follow our dreams? Second by second, our life is ticking away. And we can either make it into something that is absolutely incredible or not. The choice is up to us. There's a man my brother told me about once who I never actually had the privilege to meet before he passed away. But his story impacted me so much when I heard it that I think it needs to be shared. His name is Joe Crockett. As a young man, he was serving as a soldier in Japan and had come home on leave when he was in a car accident, leaving him paralyzed at the age of 19. Afterward, he was told that he had only six months to live. Regardless of that, he lived on for 45 years while confined to a bed. That man had every reason to give up on life and just quit, but he didn't. He spent the rest of his life working to convert his friends and family to God using any means that he was able. For 45 years, lying in a bed, he never gave up. Even after he developed huge sores from lying down for so long and was told that, he had, that they had to be cauterized and that it would leave an awful scar, it didn't face him. You know what he said after all those years? He said it was all right because one day he was going to have a new body in heaven. This man had his priorities straight. He knew what made life worth living. And even in an amazingly difficult situation, made his time on this earth mean something. Right now, none of us are confined to a bed. Hopefully, none of us ever will be. But if Joe Crockett can live a life as beautiful and amazing as that, regardless of difficulty, what's stopping us from doing the same? Each moment of our life will only be as good as we make them. Let's make them count. As important as it is to make the most of every second of your life, I believe part of this is never forgetting those who have been with you along the way. All the excitement and happiness of today wouldn't be possible without the love and devotion of many individuals that we've been blessed to know. So thank you to everyone who has made these past years of our lives so wonderful. Thank you to my parents who go above and beyond for me every day. Thank you to my family who I can't imagine life without. Thank you to all of our teachers, coaches, administration, and everyone else who believed in us and has done so much for us. Thank you to my friends who have always been there for me. Thank you to all of you guys for making these past four years of high school so special. And most importantly, I thank God for every blessing, for every incredible second that he has blessed me to live. Arthur
Dr. Schopenhauer once wrote, each day is a little life. Make the most of it, because you can only live it once. Class of 2011, cherish this moment, because it is something to be proud of. But cherish every moment for the rest of your lives. Live a life full of moments to be proud of. When people's opinions and society's expectations are gone, and you look at your life as it really is, I hope that you can look back on a life that you're proud of. that seem to sum everything up. In life, the greatest handicap is fear. The best day is today. The most useless asset is pride. The greatest mistake is giving up. The greatest stumbling block is egotism. The greatest comfort is work well done. The most disagreeable person is the complainer. The worst bankruptcy is loss of enthusiasm. The greatest need is common sense. The best gift is forgiveness. The greatest knowledge is God. The greatest thing in the world is love. 2,469,468,800 seconds. Let's make the most of it. Congratulations, guys. We finally did it. Thank you.